lockdown for the unvaccinated people in Germany. Have you read the news lately? Yes, so basically the German government is forcing everyone who is not vaccinated to go into a lockdown. So yeah, we, I have not been vaccinated. So people like myself, 30% of the German population, the people living in Germany, yes, millions of people will not be allowed to go shopping, to buy anything interesting in the shops and to go into restaurants or any events, parties, etc. We are banned from doing anything fun in Germany. I know this is insane. I mean, it is not a democratic environment. We've been forced to follow this regulation. We have to go into a lockdown. It's really, really interesting. This is a huge catch that a lot of governments, including the German government, are counting people who have got the first job as unvaccinated people, which is mind blowing. How can they qualify people that already got a job, already got the COVID vaccine as an unvaccinated? It's just not right. And there is a lot of misconception. A lot of people are very confused. And, you know, so I'm just here to share with you a little bit what I've been experiencing pretty much from Twitter. If I call Freedom Podcast One. And what is really, really interesting, there's this guy posts some really at first a very catchy tweet basically with a lot of graphs information but actually it is not right so he's saying that 86 percent um, of people that were second and third dose were vaccinated and they are going into hospitals they are, they, they are being hospitalized in scotland and um also the first dose is only 3%, or, yeah, 3.6% 3, that. And, um, and only 10% of the total figure was um, a vaccinated, which is fake news. So basically what he's claiming that it is not correct. I'm unvaccinated, but I just want, don't want to spread fake news and deceive people and, you know, give them false statistics, which is essentially dangerous. We, can put people in risk and people can take decisions based on what they've read and put their lives in risk and etc so it's not fair so this post is wrong exactly point that i mean it is hard it is hard for vaccinated it's hard for vaccinated people to share news and to share information with the world because there is not much data out there and all the data that that is available, it is mis misleading, is deceiving us. And this is actually a shout out for Scotland. I love Scotland. I've been to Scotland many, many times. It's one of my favorite countries in the world. I am doing this video based on this public health Scotland COVID-19 statistics report because it's something that came on my Twitter feed. And, you know, since I'm always on Twitter, it's been really polemic. I'm really enjoying my journey, my Twitter journey. I decided to show that it's nothing against Scotland or Scottish people. Let's put it that way. I'm British, so, you know, I love Scotland, full stop. Um, I just want to bring up that this report is also misleading. So when you're comparing what the guy is saying, vaccinated guy, it's also misleading. But when you read the report, I have not read everything, but I just compared the statistics and did some fact check. You can also see that it's misleading because, as you can see here, this is a very bad piece of information. So they only showed it to us on the report at the end final two pages. So it means that you would read everything you would get hooked on the report and then you would in the end realize that actually it's misleading. So what they've done is they're counting unvaccinated people as an individual that has no doses of COVID-19 vaccine, which is obviously myself. I've not got COVID and I have got no COVID-19 vaccine. So this is 100% unvaccinated individual. This is myself. And it has tested positive so which is as the thing i've not caught covid this is not me but then this person got covid and this is classified as unvaccinated 
someone that has not got the vaccine and got COVID. But then they say, or has had one dose of COVID-19 vaccine and has that pos positive less than or equal to 21 days after the first of the COVID-19 vaccine. And this is it. This is, this is where this report lost me. So before I made any conclusions, I made it sure that I wanted to see exactly this data. So this is what you have to do when you're reading statistics. You have to mine the data. You don't have to read everything. You have just to go very quick and mine it and see where the data could be biased. And this is definitely a biased, biased research. You cannot classify people that have not been vaccinated like myself with people that have been vaccinated. There should be a different class, a different column, a different statistics, a different group. It's not the same thing, right? And this is the whole point. The guy that is unvax vaccinated and the report that is promoting the vaccination are both promoting the wrong statistics. So based on this report, it's really, really hard to established a conclusion so the standard deviation is also not right and um, when you calculate the percentage as well, as well you try to deduct the percentage and try to make a conclusion if you try yourself make a conclusion out of this this table here you're going to find it really really difficult to come up with a conclusion and it is deceiving they are basically using these statistics in a way they, they want to deceive us and they want to make sure that they will promote their vaccination agenda which is not fair let's put it that way so yeah i've read as well that they will start counting second doses of the covid vaccine as unvaccinated and even boosters as well which people that are going through the third booster job as unvaccinated because they're saying it's whining and um, their body is not able to fight the new variants so they will have to go and take another job and so it's just going to keep rolling and rolling forever and this is the actual strategy just to keep on giving people vaccines and keeping profiting without providing us any meaningful statistics that we can read and understand and make up our minds exactly so i'm not going to take any vaccines until i don't believe that it's safe to do it so right it's just mind-blowing how people are going and getting vaccinated without seeing any actual statistics and bear that in mind that there's a lot of people having side effects and i'm you know i'm having side effects from a different type of vaccines and but yeah my topic is very complex as well but um what i want to say is Remain calm. You have to remain calm and we are going to have to go into a lockdown now because we're not vaccinated hard and we are dealing with a lot of uncertainty with a lot of deceiving data and a lot of people that are trying to brainwash us with fake information, fake news, fake statistics, deceiving statistics, which is illegal, basically should be illegal, right? How can they be using misleading fake statistics trying to deceive people and so people will get vaccinated without even knowing the consequences that might happen the actual statistics of how many people are dying from getting those vaccines how many people are getting uh, complications and etc we all know where i'm coming from you know i don't have to explain all the issues that comes with the, the vaccination things but what I want you to say is that you have to remain calm. It's very important. We're going to have to, the unvaccinated people, go into a lockdown. And we have to remain calm. We have to connect with each other. We have to help each other out. And I want you to create more content to help you to get, to, you know, to survive in this lockdown. Because we're going to have to survive. This is the thing. It's going to be tricky. And I want to help you with content. I want to help you how you should be uh, dealing with things and um, help with a lot of interesting content. So just follow, subscribe because it's going to change your life. I, I guarantee you. Profile, just come along and follow me. Yes. And write me a DM if you're unvaccinated or even vaccinated. I don't really discriminate against anyone. 
but um, write me a DM or write me a post, a comment, watch my latest video as well about on the front line, which is really important to me. It's something that I want to work on and share with you about my life. So uh, yes, I mean, there's so much going on on Twitter at the moment. So check my profile out, out. And I'm also on YouTube as well. Obviously, you're watching this video on YouTube. But what I want to say is remain calm and make sure that you are not getting too much contact with vaccinated people because you know there's a lot of them who are living the good life they are just going into parties into events and i've read a lot of things as well that even people from governments in the uk are partying and having fun so they are not safe because we all know that the variants the new variants omicron for instance it's highly contagious and people who are vaccinated will always catch the virus. It's important that you avoid vaccinated people because obviously we are in lockdown, we are safe, you're not spreading any viruses, but they are not in lockdown. So this is the issue. So they will catch all the viruses, even other viruses as well. And we will be exposed to their illnesses and sickness. And I've witnessed a lot of that already here in my life where I'm constantly in my room, safe, I don't have any illnesses, right, that we spread to other people, but I can see that people that have been vaccinated are getting sick all the time, and it's literally not me the problem, right, so, which is um, something that you need to watch out for, avoid vaccinated people, especially people who are partying, you know, going to events and bars and, you know, you name it, you know what I'm talking about, people that are not living a safe life because we are in the middle of a pandemic. It's important that we protect each other, right? And remember, wear a mask, always wear a mask. And um, yeah, so follow, like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Oh no, man, yeah, another lockdown. Yeah, I mean, I've been living lockdown for the last few months anyway. But now, not that I want to do stuff outside. In fact, I've been preparing myself. I got a lot of gadgets, you know, to cut my hair. I'm going to start cutting my own hair because I knew that we we're going to have to get into another lockdown. So I predicted that months ago already. I knew, I knew that they would impose a lockdown. I, I know this government very well. And so I can predict everything what they're going to do within months before they actually do the things. So I got a, you know, a haircut machine and I got all the things that are important as well during the lockdown just to make sure that I'm safe and I can survive. Yeah, exactly. And I don't have to have the bushy hairs that I used to have in the last uh, few lockdowns because um, I was not prepared. But um, this is the thing, you got to think wisely and prepare yourself ahead of the events that are coming on your way. And this is what I've been doing. And um, it's been effective so far, I must say. So yeah, but it's just, it's just overwhelming that this is a failure government. This government has totally failed us because it could take all the steps and react in time to prevent this sort of event and um, now a lot of people are catching COVID I mean two years after it all started we're still going into the same situation we're just going to circles and circles and I suspect that this is the actual thing that they want to do they want to spread the virus so people get contaminated and it keeps rolling rolling for many years to come, but um, it's a shame. So I, I do believe that the CDU party is a failure and has failed this country, this, um, has failed the German people. And so um, I'm really looking forward to this. There will be a new government and this current government will be the place for once. I cannot wait. <laughs>